Welcome to episode 103 of Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this episode, we cover the Android 15 beta release, how Android Studio uses Gemini Pro to make Android development faster and easier, a story about how Google Drive cut code and development time in half, and how to use dependency injection in Compose. The Android 15 beta is now available for both developers and early adopters. You can now enroll any supported Pixel device to get this and future Android 15 updates. Key features of the Android 15 beta include default h 2 h app display, smoother NFC experiences, inter-character text justification, app archiving, app manage profiling, better support for braille displays, key management for end-to-end -end encryption, and secured background activity launches. Note that apps will be h 2 h by default on Android 15 Plus after they target SDK 35. The Android 15 developer site has a lot more information about the beta. We covered how Google Drive cut code and development time in half with Jetpack Compose and new architecture. Google Drive's developers revamped the app's home screen using Kotlin and Jetpack Compose, reducing cut complexity and improving efficiency. The adoption of Android's recommended architecture further enhanced the process, facilitating quicker testing and development. As a result, the Google Drive team was able to develop the app's new home screen in less than half the time that they expected. The team plans to use Compose for future improvements, aiming for better UI development and maintenance. We announced the integration of the Gemini Pro model into Android Studio. Gemini is an AI-powered coding assistant that offers features like code generation, code completion, answering development queries, finding resources, and more. You interact with Gemini using natural language queries and receive context of our responses. Additionally, Android Studio provides tools for you to utilize Gemini's capabilities into your own applications through the Gemini API Starter Template. Jonathan discussed the importance of dependency injection in Android development, focusing on the integration of health with Jetpack Compose. The post highlights the benefits of dependency injection, such as separation of concerns, testability, and ease of maintenance. It elaborates on dependency provision and scoping, two important features of health, and how these functionalities differ between traditional apps and apps built with Compose. It then provides some recommendations for how and where to inject dependencies in Compose apps, taking into account the differences in lifecycle management and the way composable functions behave. That's it for this week. With the first beta of Android 15, the Google Drive developer story, Android Studio updates, and dependency injection in Compose. Check back soon for more updates from the Android developer universe. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And we can't wait to see you at Google I.O. on May 14.